Hey everybody, uh, Robert here again, and uh, this is especially for uh, Cole. I'm going to show you how to use metric. So we're going to basically go from a pair to metric. So all of my friends in other parts of the world, I'm sure you're familiar with metrics already. So I'm going to give you this brief uh, presentation. So let's just make a family in metric. So let's go to our generic model here. Now you can also, uh, let me back this up a minute. I didn't think of that. Let me just back this up. Let me drop this out. Okay. You can also go uh, go to New Families, and you can go where it says English Imperial. Uh, we can go. Okay, so now it depends on what version of Rivet you have. So basically, here. Uh, this is a U.S. version, and do I see the metric? Okay. Okay. So anyway, I didn't mess around with all this. And then when you get the U.S. version, it'll probably be, depending on what version you have, you can grab and get uh, metric families from your, this is English Imperial, I don't see. Well, anyway, the heck with that. This is what we we'll do. So let's go and open a generic template. And hit open here. Now, once we're in this template, this will be the English version of uh, Autodesk Rivet. It should have the metric version in it, but this one doesn't. So if you happen to be working like this, this is what you need to do. Now, a brief explanation of metric. It's a base 10. That's all. And they use, in, in, in overseas, they use meters for civil works. But the majority of the work is in millimeters. So the first thing we want to do here, we want to go to our Manage tab. We want to hit Project Units. And the lengths here, let's go drop this down to millimeters. Like I said, if it was civil, it would be in meters. But we can go meters and centimeters, but we want to, but we can go in meters. But for what we're doing, and the majority of work overseas is here in millimeters. So let's select millimeters. We can add the mm if we like. And then we can suppress zeros. We don't have to worry about that. So let's say OK. And the angle and all this other information is the same now when it comes to mass and density, which we won't really worry about it. It would be uh, LBM will fit. Well, we won't even worry about that. So let's cancel this. And let's OK this. Now what happens here, let's just make a, a simple little uh, family. So. Uh, we're going to create a reference plane in there. As you can see, the units have changed now. And like I was saying before, it's just a base 10. So a meter being uh, a thousand millimeters, and, and you break it down from there. So uh, right here now we've got 360 and 300, you can go equality. And then from here to here, that's 600 mil. That's about two feet, roughly. And then we'll go create another reference plane from here to here. So it's just a matter of changing the units if you don't have the metric uh, families in your in your program. This one has it. I don't know where it is. I'm using 18. It's probably in a later version. So you can go to the pair of metric family create to create metric uh, families. Yeah, let's create another reference plane. It's a simple little box here. And then we'll go here. Let's go. Let's take that one. Uh, better yet, I'll just do this. 
Keep it simple, guys. I like keeping things simple here to here. And then let's give these some parameters. Give us some labels. So let me select this one and go new label. Let's call this L for this uh, uh, width. Let's say L. And then make this one. Put that in there. So there, there. And make this um, length. So now let's flex it like we do in all our families. Let's make this 300 mil. The 3,000, that would be three meters. And make this 200 mil. Okay. And there you go. Now let's go and add some geometry. Let's pick a front line. Let's do a front view. Just do a simple box here. Create another reference plane. So basically it's a really simple thing. You just change the units to millimeters. And like I said, overseas, the majority of the work is in millimeters. I would say 95% of it, but I, unless you're in civil. Silver, they use meters a lot. Um, go here to here. Give that another per label. Let's call them H for height. Okay. Now let's add our geometry on our reference level. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm just showing you this to give you an idea. Now all the information you'll get, it'll be broken down and measured for you. Let's create an extrusion. I'm going to go to pick line command here. We'll pick, pick. Uh, let me undo that. I always do lock when you pick line. Bad habit of mine. Pick line. Lock. And then we'll go here. Now, angles are going to be the same. There's no metric. The, 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 the. Okay, now let's go and accept this. Now let's go into our front view. And then we'll just go to align this to the top. And lock it. So that's it. Nothing to it. Real short, simple, and sweet. So I'm gonna do this now. Now another thing that has to happen. Okay, there's our box. So now let's go and uh, I'm gonna open up a title block, a sheet, another file. So the family and the project file has to be uh, in metric. So let's go, let me go file, new, project, and let's just go to architectural template. I'm going to say OK here. Now we're in this template file, and it's architectural. So what happens is, this should be done when you work on your projects or your cut sheets. What will happen here is, you'll have to go back in the Manage tab. Uh, go to project units and here where it says length we'll go down to millimeters and we can suppress zeros if you want but this is the most important thing and then we'll say okay and okay now sometimes now let's go back into our family now let's load this guy into our project There's our family and our project. We'll go expand that. And we'll go here. Now, there you go. So it's really simple. Sometimes you might have to change the units in your uh, dimensions. That's if you're going straight across. 
but we didn't have to do that. So basically, luckily, I can go here and I go edit type for dimensions. And here it's uh, in millimeters. So that's just a quick example of how metric works. Remember, it's all base 10. A lot easier than Imperial, believe it or not. And then uh, follow along. I'll send you a template to work with. But I just wanted to give you this brief uh, example or explanation of metrics since you never worked in it. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. And all my metric friends overseas in India, Australia, if you got anything to add, please help us with metric over here in the U.S. We're still working in Imperial, uh -huh. believe it or not. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.